Hey guys, welcome back to Homesteading with the Heberts. Today we're going to uh, do something different. and We're actually going to go and visit Dave over at Oak Knob Farm. He's got some uh, sap for us, so we're going to go pick that up. We're going to bring some buckets to put it in. Um, and he's got a couple of other things for us as well. So, let's go. You ready, Izzy? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Hey Dave, it's Donnie. Hey Donnie, how you doing? Good, you? Oh, not too bad. Doing well. Good yard work. <laughs> oh, nice. You just uh, raking up or just picking picking things up? I had to clean up all the, all the leaves and leaves and branches and crap. <laughs> well, I understand that one. My my yard has a bunch of stuff that's falling out of trees and everything. So, oh yeah. But. So we're on our way down. Okay. Um, yeah. So we should be there soon then. All right, well, I'll see you then. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Dave. Yeah, no problem at all. All right, bye. Yeah, bye bye. Well, hello. It's nice to meet you, too. <laughs> What's your name? Izzy. Izzy. I've seen you on TV a whole bunch of times. <laughs> well, she's been on a few times. Yeah, absolutely. Well, so you guys want to take a walk around? Absolutely. All right. Well, first off, All right. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. I'm Donnie. The caller to get you started. Awesome. Hi. Oh, that'd be perfect. perfect. Yeah, you're going to bang the creosote out. It's used. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> but, fine. But yeah, that should get you that'll a little out. bit of flu. and. Yeah, that'll get me in out oh, with that two-foot pipe. Yeah. That'll push it up. That should actually be enough. Probably. That's what I did the first the first day. I just happened to have a five-foot piece, too, so I put that on just... Yeah, because we're going to find a Nice. The day I went in to get them this year, I took a bought two. Nice little, uh, Every employee yeah. in the store yeah. stopped me today. A little tight, say, but it's what you know, manage. What the fuck? It was higher. It was, they I'm were so tall. I was looking board. around them. <laughs> <laughs> that looks awesome. Yeah, it works, you know, uh, funny, works well. I need so many drawers to tell that. Yeah. Right now, all my tools are in bags. Yep. Tools bags, and it's like, ah. At first, I had all bags. What do you using these buckets for? She's like, maple syrup. I'm like, yep, that's what I thought. And it's great, because it's So that's one of the things that I want to try to do when we get a new place, is to find a room where I can put all my tools and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
And yep. he, has, he has panels down here. I kept it from scorching a little bit more. Oh, scorching the um, panel? A little bit on the sides. So just on, on the top of the, uh, yep. right where the water line is. Nice. Now, did you actually build this? I didn't yep. notice that. Yep, this old bed frames I picked up, and I just picked up some steel at Lowe's. Nice. So. Looks good. A bunch of old junk. <laughs> That's good. That's actually the best way to make stuff, though, is whatever you got lying around. Yep. You know? And I'm pretty much sure I can probably drill a pig on this thing or something if I tried hard enough to take the top off. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. Lay down that. <laughs> put a grate or put a couple things and put it straight across. Yeah, the put a nice little spit on there. So, yeah, it'll be good. I'll set it up down there and we'll have a nice little... Nice little fire pit. Nice. What do you, is that the garden? Yeah, that's my desk. And this is all the crap I've been busy working on lately. Oh. All, all my tree cutting. Rock moving. <laughs> nice. That, that worked out good. It's almost decorative, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's pretty cool. Well, the scariest stairs right there, though. But it, that's exactly what I constantly try to do, is look around and be like, okay, what can it's I... junk I can... <laughs> what can I repurpose for that? Oh, well, yeah. Like, yeah. This, this workbench was exactly that. I'm a bunch of old junk. <laughs> I mean, you saw my, my chicken tractor that, yep. that I just used random stuff on. Oh, yeah. I'll just take off the rivet gun, drill right there. Yep. Pop a couple two rivets there, put a couple on top. Nice. Uh, right now I got some uh, petrified wood from Rick and Old Camp Ranches in there actually. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you set me up a box of rocks, so it's in there tumbling. Another good channel. Yes, yep. Have you uh, seen his Gnome Town one? No, I haven't. I Gardening haven't. in Gnome Town, it's another one his, and it's all just about his little, you've seen those little gnome villages yep. he's got. Yeah, it's just all him with his garden and his flowers. And so it's a little. second channel? Yep. Okay, I'll have to check that one out. Yeah, it's great. I think you'll love it. Yeah. Which people syrup one should have for their own personal use? Yeah, two and a half use. gallons will do us plenty. <laughs> us, our kids, our parents. We, uh... We made, that's about what we made last year. Yeah. And we're just using up the last jar now. Yeah. We made, what did we make last year? Just mm -hmm. over a gallon, right? Yeah, almost a gallon and a half. And yeah. we still have a quart left. And we still have a quart. Yep. So, I mean, we just don't use it so and, as you, much. You know, and that's, for us, what we were using it for is just the pancakes and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But if you have more of it, you can sweeten stuff yeah, with it. Start using it in barbecue of, sauces and yeah, other exactly. things. Yeah, exactly. Well, the other thing, too, is, you know, our kids are gone, so it's just the two of us. So when we make pancakes, it's just two. It's no longer yeah, we, five or, you know <laughs> what I mean? So right. uh, one container lasts quite a, or, quite a while. Or the kids that are filling the bottom of the plate, yep. and you look at it when they're done, yeah. you're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You realize how long that took them? <laughs> you know, or, or do you realize how much that cost? <laughs> Hey guys, I just got back from uh, Oak Knob Farm. Um, if you guys haven't checked out their channel, go ahead. I'll put a link for it down in the description as well. But Dave is a really great guy. He's uh, very down to earth, very pleasant, and just a genuinely nice guy. When I got there, we went ahead, we, we took a tour of his property, as you guys saw in the video. Um, and... He, he was just very welcoming, um, and he gave me some stuff to take home with me as well. He gave, he gave me about 15 gallons of sap, maple sap, knowing that um, I've been having a problem with producing the maple syrup here, or getting sap this year. So he went ahead and hooked me up with 15 gallons of sap. Uh, some of the other things he he went ahead and gave me, gave me a 90 degree elbow for a, a stove pipe, a collar to connect it with. And 
and also a two foot section of pipe. That's going to be awesome because that's going to go work out. That's going to work out great for the maple evaporator. This stuff is all going to help me to go ahead and finish out the last boil of uh, our maple syrup. Thank you, Dave. Again, I really appreciate this. Um, and if you guys haven't checked him out, go check him out. He's a really great channel. Um, we also talked about some of the other channels that we watch that are in common. Some of the channels that we get our inspiration from as well. But it was just really great to sit there and talk with Dave for a little bit. Um, and, and his wife. We just had, I had a really good time. And it was a lot of fun. For those of you that haven't subscribed already, go ahead and click that subscribe button, guys. And have a good day. Bye.